Hey everybody, it's Mr. Fudge, your balloon man. We are here getting some Macy's balloon prep stuff coming together, and things are starting to come together finally. Uh, we got Brandon now on the pump, representing the app, the app universe. So you go check him out on his channel and stuff as well. Uh, these are pant legs. <laughs> Those are not poop emojis. I know you were confused there looking at that. But uh, here, um, here's the arms of the pirate that uh, we've got put together. I'm setting this as a side. Gonna show you, well, I can't move this back, there's stuff here. But um, we're getting tight now, but there's the, uh, the collar of the pirate uh, shirt and the collar and the buttons. We decided to do those out of balloons. Um, these are gonna be the arms, so you can kinda see what the arms look like. Um, so they're gonna, I mean, they're not finished, but that's kind of what it's going to look like if you can check that out. Kind of hard to do all that, so I'm going to put those inside there and that inside there. Now, I don't have the legs done for the pirate, but I have some uh, filler balloons in there. Uh, this is going to be not on a float. This is going to be carried as a float. So it's going to be, it's going to mimic the, mimic the helium balloons. But those are the legs for the police officer. This down here is where we're gonna put the shoe piece. So the shoe's gonna be down to the bottom. It's gonna be like a three foot round and we're gonna have it built up around, around there. So we're still figuring that out. But if you think about it, that height plus that height is the leg and the body. And then we have the head on top, which is another like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, about that much more, just the blue part on top of the head. So that kind of gives you an idea of how tall this is gonna be. Um, oh, and there's the arms for this guy, so he, his look a little different. It took us a while to figure out what we wanted to do for the hands, so let me show you our model here. I gotta, oh, it falls over. Let me try this one more time. Haven't attached everything yet, but that'll be the model. You doing good? You have to know what an elevator machine room is. Elevator machine room. Yeah. A door with a danger sign on it? A door with a danger sign. Let me see if I can uh, figure this out. This would be the closest I would think to an elevator machine room. This has got some electrical panel stuff. This has a hole, which is pretty much where the elevator is. But uh, wait, really? Yeah. So I don't know if that's Yeah, that's the back of the elevator pretty much. That could be anywhere third floor. Even oh, third floor I haven't been to. Ground floor I haven't been to. I've only been on the second floor, so unfortunately I can't help you there. Could you do me a favor? I'm gonna run down to the bottom floor. Could you call the elevator up to Do you have a line? pen and paper? What? So we can write down the code so you can get back up and up and down. So, so I can give you the okay. uh, two five four zero pound. That'll get you to the second floor. Two five four zero. Thanks, boss. There you go. Good luck. All right. So now that we've had our detour, sorry about that, guys. So what we're doing is we're working on some balloon stuff. So you can see how this starts to fill this room that was huge and had plenty of room, and. Uh, yeah, of course the table's crazy, so we just uh, had three people in here knocking stuff out, so that's kind of where that goes. Join in. This is our brainstorming table. This is what we did last year. We did um, these guys, so you can kind of see how that turned out. These are the old pages that well, I'm throwing away. And then... Here's buttons, eyes, mustache, star, uh, police badge, and belt buckle. So you can see how the belt buckle fits almost perfectly over that. So that's just to get our sizing correct. Um, trying to find a picture of what we're doing since I've got papers thrown everywhere. 
I swear at one point this was organized. There we go. There's a pirate that we're working on. And that's this guy right here. So we've got the chest piece here. We've got, uh, so we're still here. We have to add a gun, possibly for here. Maybe a, um, a lilac balloon to go over it to hold it in place. Uh, we've got to do the head. We've got to do the legs for this one as well, which we're still working on. And then, uh, yeah, so there we go. So thank you everybody for stopping by and uh, apologies. Uh, I guess we're getting the elevator fixed at the office. So uh, there was a technician here. So I had to stop and chat with him a little bit. But um, but yeah, so that's kind of what we've been doing today. We've been working on balloon stuff like crazy. So I'm walking away from the pump. Brandon's knocking out a couple things because he has to go very soon to get some stuff done. He has a birthday party for his cousin. So um, we're knocking that out. But yeah, so that's what we're doing. Uh, when we get this up and rolling, I will for sure show you guys what these guys look like. It'll be late tonight. We'll be actually building this inside of a U-Haul, uh, 24 foot U-Haul. Um, we put all the pieces together upstairs. I'm sorry, we put make all the individual pieces upstairs. We carry it downstairs. We build it in the U-Haul. We frame it in the U-Haul. And then once we get everything framed and put together, then we drive it to Macy's, we unpack it at Macy's, um, fully completed, and then we um, put it together. So he's working on some hands right now. That's his last little task he's trying to knock out before uh, he's got to run. So I appreciate him helping out. So the thing is, is if one person builds something, like uh, the hand behind me there, you kind of want the same person to build all of them so they're consistent. So... That's the way we wrote Brandon into doing more work. So but that's what that's all about. But yeah, so uh, there we go. You guys doing good today? Enjoying yourselves? Got a bunch of people watching, so. All right, well, let me turn this around, let you guys see. Uh, right now, it just looks like a mob of balloons. Glob after glob after glob. But what this is gonna be is this is gonna be a police officer. That's gonna be his legs and his uh, shoes are going to come off the front there and then we've got his arms in the back that are going to come off the side and we're going to make his head on top and then we've also got a pirate which is here so this is his uh, striped shirt his cool little collar um, his jacket his sash or belt and the bottom of his pants we're making his uh, rest of his pants too that's what we're working on here I'm trying to get the sizes and shape right for that so uh, probably going to remake that because right now it looks slightly like a poop emoji, so we're trying to not have that be the case. So once we put all these together and then uh, get everything organized, it'll look a little better. And so just so you have an idea of what we're looking for for the pirate, we're looking for that guy right there. And so the next piece is going to be making the leg and the foot. So uh, next time we check in, it will probably be after we're moving most of this stuff into Five the, the U-Haul. <laughs> so that'll be later, much later this evening, and then uh, probably again between 3 and 7 in the morning, we'll post again, and then I'll get live again in the morning for the Macy's Parade at the Wiregrass Mall uh, here in Tampa, where we'll show you guys us prepping and some of the other contestants and people prepping as well, so that you can see what goes on pre-parade. And then if I can, I'll try to do a video of the actual parade as well for you guys, depending on if I can get away or not. So uh, that's what we're shooting for. So stay tuned. Uh, keep in touch. Keep watching. Follow the channel and we'll show you some more of that stuff soon.